Mystery at the beach today, a dead shark and a ray wash ashore in Delray Beach. One with a hook attached, the other with fins cut off. WPTV South County reporter Miranda Christian explains why it may be a sign of a bigger problem. And that dead shark and ray, they are gone from the north end of the beach now. And it may seem like a rare occurrence to have both of them wash ashore, but I found out that may not be the case. It is a troubling sight on the north end of the Delray Public Beach. A dead black tip shark washed ashore and 50 feet away, what appears to be a cow nose ray, also dead. My life's mission is to help end the war on sharks. Jim Abernethy is the founder of Wildlife Voice. He fights to stop land-based shark fishing. And what this is is a perfect example to me of what is known as land-based shark fishing. The shark has a hook in its mouth, and Abernathy says the ray has clear signs of being a bait fish. Obviously, they caught the ray to use it as bait because they've hacked off clearly with a knife both sides of its fins. As people walk by the dead fish, many share the same feelings. So it makes me a little sad to see something discarded like this and this loss of life. Land-based shark fishing now requires a permit in Florida, but Abernethy believes this is a clear sign that more education is needed. So sad. So sad. So if you're someone who is fishing for sharks off the shore without a permit and you get caught, you could face up to a $500 fine or jail time. Reporting in Delray Beach, I'm Miranda Christian, WPTV News Channel 5.